Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, the last time we made a YouTube video was when we were doing classroom setup, and then I never gave you a full tour of the classroom, so I figured while we have time over winter break, and we're up here moving some stuff around, that I'll give you a classroom tour. So, <laughs> This is the door I made for December, so when you first walk in the room, I have a bulletin board here that I use some like white shiplap, and then I got these clipboards from the Dollar Tree and I just spray painted them black and I hung them up here with command strips and then I can just put my student work over it. And then up here, I started the year by putting this quote, but it's kind of falling apart because I used duct tape. So I think that's something we might take off the wall today. And then this is one of my favorite parts. I still have to put the kids' pictures up. I actually printed them off, but they're at home. But it says the future of the world is in this classroom and they're like little mini clipboards. I used my Cricut to cut out different jobs that they could have in the future. But it's kind of like STEM based because I teach math and science. And then over here I'm lucky that my school gives me all this storage. It comes with the little cubbies and then I bought all these little bins from Dollar Tree. At the beginning of the year it was much more organized and I had bins for all of these. But over time I don't really know what happened to some of the bins and some of this stuff doesn't fit in there. Or if you look at my sad glue stick bin, none of them even have caps anymore and they're all dried out. But at the beginning of the year, this did look really nice. And then up here, there's more shelves. My mom actually made these curtains three years ago when I moved into the classroom because I wanted to be able to hide all the crap that was up there. But it's basically just a bunch of bins and mass supplies. I might end up taking some of that home today too. That's like a Jenga game and basically just all my math supplies that I get out throughout the year like geo boards fraction strips and stuff like that Okay in this corner of the room. They give me these cabinets as well. They're not very organized But this one has a bunch of folders and the black light stuff mostly for room transformations Which I haven't even done this year and then this is like our little classroom store every Friday They can spend their panther bucks there just more storage and then the secret candy drawer that the kids definitely steal from because this was full at like Halloween and now it's just all the gross candy left then up here I have more space for student work I just used the clipboards I didn't spray paint these I just used paper to kind of cover them up I need to hang some stuff up here and then this is our morning work or like our problem of the day I wrote math talk and then um, these you can switch out. So right now it says what time does the clock show, how much money is there, underline the place value, and then I'll write a multiplication um, equation on here and they have to show me the strategy. So they just have a little paper where they do four problems in the morning. This is my stage that my uncle built. It's kind of um, split in the middle right now because there's stuff in the middle of it. I need to clean that out. But the best part about it is the storage under here. I have a bunch of yarn and random stuff that needs to be cleaned out, but the storage really comes in handy because I have tons of crayons and just different supplies in the other one. This is all like my STEM stuff that they were using to build sleds right before we left. I need to put it away. Basically, my room's just a mess. And then these numbers on the wall um, are what they use for multiplication. They come in handy when your kids don't know their facts. They can just look up at the wall and skip count. I also have them in the front, front of my room. This is one of the tables I made over the summer last year, or actually I think it was during COVID. I just got a piece of wood from Home Depot and then I had them cut the whiteboard piece to fit it. Had my husband drill it in and then I bought these legs from Ikea. It is kind of sturdy, but not sturdy enough. Actually, just before um, we left, I set up all the candy for gingerbread houses on here and one of my kids kicked this pole over and knocked all the candy off. I'll show you a picture right here because as mad as I was at the time, it's kind of funny looking back now. And then these are some stools that you guys always ask me for links on Amazon, so I will link them as well. But I think it came in a pack of four. I have one at home in the basement, but the kids love these stools and they're the perfect size for tables like this. Here is a pile of books that I started to make that I'm going to take home. I have so many books that are for like STEM or math and science that I don't really let the kids use. I read these out loud to the class. Here's my Chromebook cart. Our school gives each class a Chromebook cart and we use these like every single day. Here's all their little passwords. 
I do need to take these down today, but they turned out so cute. They're the little um, tech starter reindeer that we made before Christmas. These are my stem bins that the kids use every single morning. I do like a morning choice. So when they come in, if they are finished with their problem of the day, they can grab one of these bins and they have a bunch of different building materials. And I'm like, these are plus plus blocks, brain flakes. These are from the Dollar Tree. They're just like foam things. A lot of these are from Amazon. And if you're looking to start like a maker space or something like this, I have them all linked on there. You can find them um, with the link in my bio. Click on my Amazon storefront, and I think it's called Makerspace on Amazon. This is just a messy bookshelf that needs to be organized. These signs up here, I put up this year, they're new. I got these from Really Good Stuff. They sent them to me with a bunch of other things that match my theme, and they turned out super cute. This is a 3D printer that we do not even use. It just sits there. It's from when me and my teaching partner did like an after-school club. I need to get that removed. And then here's all my mini erasers that we use for like manipulatives and different activities like that. This used to have a really pretty curtain on it and then one of my kids knocked it off and I can't find the spring anymore so I can't hang it up. So if my mom watches this she'll probably be really disappointed because she made it. This is my desk area. This is where I keep all my paper. This is also falling apart. If it gets too heavy they fall down but this was a good purchase on Amazon a couple years ago. And then I have never changed that bulletin board since I moved into this classroom. My mom actually made these curtains too. They're super cute. And then up there I have little quotes that came from the poster store. That was one of the collabs I did at the beginning of the year. And actually they, they are really cute. And if I ever uh, moved to classrooms, I would take those with me. This is my desk or my teacher table. I don't have a desk. This is just what we use for a small group. And this is where I sit. That's my messy bookshelf back there. And then this is one of my favorite bulletin boards. It just has a bunch of pictures of all my like old students and all my favorite people. And then this calendar that I need to take down and my student of the weeks. So cute. Here's the other numbers that I was talking about. I put them up there. They're kind of cute as like decoration too, but the kids do use these a lot. Then I printed out today is dot 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 um, on my Cricut and the agenda and then I just write what we're doing on the board here. Here's another one of those tables that is kind of sturdy. I just kind of put like my copies and stuff on it for the week. I do have a smart board but I never use it because the actual touch part of the board doesn't work but I use the projector part so I guess it's still worth it. These bins are my favorite. They're from Ikea and I have two of them that are kind of like pushed together. I had all the headphones organized neatly at the beginning of the year. They each had a little bag with their headphones in them. I think somebody actually right before break organized these for me, but they were not like this a couple days ago. And then I have my clipboards, some cleaning supplies, and then these are how I do my math center. So when they're at their carpet center, they can come over here and get a bin, and each bin has a little activity that they can do. Then they check it off in their folder. So. These are still from October. She never updated her list, but they check it off and then I check it off after they're done. So yeah, there's just a bunch of different centers. These are actually all my December centers in my Teachers Pay Teachers store if you're interested. I do need to make some new ones and put the January ones out before they come back. And then lastly, I have six tables. I'll kind of show you like the whole layout of the room. Um, I bought these table caddies at the beginning of the year. They were brand new and I had like all the sharpened pencils in this one, all the whiteboard markers, brand new little erasers. This doesn't even have the felt on it anymore. And then I had packs of crayons, but the crayons were so broken and so disgusting that I threw them all away. And then I bought some twistable ones that are over here and they have to like sign them out now. So if they want to use crayons, they can come over and then they have to turn them back in looking just like this because I'm tired of buying packs of crayons and then they break and they just don't treat them right. So now we have these. And while we clean up, Mary's over here looking at her grades. Can you even see them? All A's and B's. Go girl! <laughs> no, I'm bad because, oh yeah, you need all right, well, Jason's going to give you a craft tutorial here in a second, but the reason that we are at school today is because 
One, I want to make a few copies before the kids come back and then clean up some of my December stuff. And then also, I will be um, going on maternity leave in April. So I'm going to start taking stuff home because as much as I trust whoever comes in here, I don't necessarily trust the kids to not take stuff or not break stuff because they do that when I'm here. So I'm just going to slowly start making a pile and taking stuff home that, you know, I bought with my own money or that we don't really use every day anyways, like my little robots or my good books. I don't know, just stuff that I know they don't need to be touching anyways. Okay, today we're going to make a channel today. Okay, we're going to make something. For that, we need a blue paper. We need a blue paper. And we need some scissors. We need some scissors. And we need some markers. Some markers. And we need some. Um, I think we need some pencils. Super cute. Jason's been crafting. Yeah. What is it? It's called Happy Playtime, a game. If you never play, you need to try this game. Um, this is my first time, I already say it. Yeah, this is my first time making videos. So <laughs> if you want to find any, any new videos, I'm going to stay there. If you want if you want to see my channels, go go Mary's channel. You're going to make go, a channel? Yeah. Go Ooh, on Mary's fancy. channels, go on Miss Curtis channel, then I'm going to be my channel. <laughs> oh. And then Mary's over here taking some letters off the wall for me. We're going to take this bin home and we've started to make a little pile right here. I'm not sure it'll all fit today, but we're going to do our best. And then we've also started making a little pile back here. Um, I combined all that stem stuff that was back here into one bin, which feels good. And then we've just slowly started cleaning out some of the books. Um, they're table caddies. Actually, yeah, Mary put new markers in those too because they're a mess. And then I moved everything that was on these shelves to here, like I, the curriculum and stuff that has to stay here. And then everything else I'm going to take home. So now I just need to clean up this mess. And then sometime throughout the week, I'll probably take this one home and everything just looks so empty now that we took all the holiday stuff down so we'll have to make some new stuff for like valentine's day or black history month or something coming up also this carpet my mom bought me two years ago and it's kind of raggedy now and then like i don't know where these stains come from they're kind of gross so i think before the sub comes or maybe even this week i'm gonna roll it up and have the janitor trash it and then it also gives us more room to kind of spread the tables out in here Hope you guys enjoyed our video and our process of cleaning out for the maternity leave. Now, make sure to come back when we have a new video and like and subscribe.